Hey, what's up y'all? Cambo Chow here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a quick one, but I'm going to take you through the specs on a new reel I just got to try out, and that is the Cast King Speed Demon Elite. Now this thing retails for about $119. It is the fastest bait caster on the market. It's gear ratio 10 to 5 to 1. So when you crank on this thing, whatever you're reeling in is going to move quickly. Now it comes with 18 pounds of drag, and that's right up my alley because when you're putting a hook set to a snakehead, in order to get penetration on that super hard mouth, you need a good amount of drag to really drive those hooks through. So that 18 pounds of drag here in the Speed Demon Elite comes in awfully handy. Now the reel itself, as I mentioned before, is only 6.7 ounces. This is a very light reel. I've casted it a bit now. I've used it for hours and it's very light. You can throw it all day. Great plus in that column. It has a centrifugal braking system and it's braking system, I don't know if the proper term is two-stage, but that's what I'll call it. Because when I was tuning it in, I was scratching my head for a bit, trying to figure out why am I backlashing so much? Well, that's because over here you have your swing wing side cover. If you can't open it immediately when you're trying to, go ahead and loosen up that tension knob. A lot of times that's what will stop you from opening it if it's too tight. But if it's not too tight, you should be able to just swing that door right open. Then you have access to the internals here to go ahead and make your adjustments on the main part of the braking system. This is where you're making your larger adjustments. You have to have at least one engaged. Right now, I think I have three engaged. Let me double check for you. One, two, three. Yeah, I have three engaged right now. If you're having trouble with your casting on here, that's one of the first places you're gonna to wanna to go to make those larger macro adjustments. Once you feel like you got that to a good spot as you're tuning in your bait caster, over here, you have your micro control. They call it the demon eye adjuster right here. That's where you're gonna make your micro adjustments on your braking system. As long as you're using both of those in conjunction with one another, it's been a smooth casting reel for me. Now, my further first impressions with the reel, it's a really nice looking reel. I mean, it has a sexy reel, especially if you have a black and red rod to go with it. It is a heck of an awesome looking reel. Now, I have paired it on this rod that is 40 pound Berkley X9. 40 pounds been a good balanced line for castability and strength that I've found when I'm snakehead fishing. Another thing I like on here, it comes stock out of the pack with some pretty large handles in this reel. I really don't like the smaller handles or the smoother ones. These have some good grip to it. They have some good size to it. It's comfortable for my hands. I'm not a huge guy, I'm pretty tall, about 6'2", and it has a great grip on it. And again, highest speed reel out there which if you're snakehead fishing can often come in handy because if you're not familiar with it, a lot of times snakehead can porpoise out of the water straight to you and run right at you after a hook set. And when you can take up line that quickly, that 10 to five to one, you stand a much better chance of maintaining tension and landing that fish. The reel itself is super smooth. I mean, super smooth. Nice, quiet, smooth operating reel. And one thing I have noticed is that if you're using lures that you need to maintain a slower pace on, you do have to consciously kind of slow yourself down on the reel. I don't find it that hard, but you might. So that's something to keep in mind if you're thinking about this reel. For me, I'm able to slow myself down without any real issue, but if you're trying to do a faster cadence reel, you got all the speed you need. It's working well for me in both scenarios. So to close things out here, give you one more look at just the beauty of this reel. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I really do love the look of it. I'll say thanks to Casking for giving me one to try out over here. And what I'll do is I'll keep you all posted with its performance as I'm on the water. I'm gonna use it more and more. And as time goes on, I'll let you know how I feel about it. I'll do a follow-up video probably in a month or two after I put some miles and some fish on it. I put a few on it already, not as many as I'd like though. So I'll follow it with you, let you know how I like it. If you use one, let me know in the comment section. Let me know how you like it, what you use it for, different types of lures, scenarios, fish. Let me know what you think about it. All right, folks, more to follow. If you want to find your own, you can find a link in the video description. Stay tuned, and I'll show you more about my experience with this Cast King Speed Demon Reel. All right, y'all. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.